When a stroke occurs, blood flow to a specific region of the brain is abruptly disrupted, either due to a blocked artery, ischemic stroke, or a ruptured blood vessel, hemorrhagic stroke. Neurons, the brain's essential communication cells, rely heavily on a continuous supply of oxygen and glucose delivered by the bloodstream. Within minutes of this supply being cut off, neurons begin to suffer from oxygen deprivation, halting their ability to produce energy. This energy failure causes ion pumps in the neuronal cell membranes to malfunction, leading to an abnormal influx of calcium and sodium ions. Simultaneously, there is an excessive release and accumulation of glutamate, a key excitatory neurotransmitter. This glutamate overload triggers excitotoxicity, overstimulating neurons and causing them to swell, lose structural integrity, and eventually rupture. As these neurons die, they release harmful toxins and inflammatory molecules that further damage surrounding neurons and glial cells, which support and protect neurons. This cascade effect rapidly enlarges the area of injury. The longer the brain region remains deprived of blood flow, the more neurons die, up to 2 million every minute resulting in irreversible brain damage, loss of neurological functions, and in severe cases, death. Early intervention is critical to restore blood flow and minimize this devastating cellular damage.